Yo, Darius Britt here. Live mics are crazy handy for recording actors, interviews, etc. I've got five of them, so I figured we could do like a quick sound off comparison so you can hear what they sound like. We'll run through all their features and maybe you can pick the one that works best for you. All of these mics are omnidirectional, meaning they can pick up sound in all directions around the mic capsule, no matter where it's pointed. As I talk about each mic, I'll be recording myself with that mic. As far as post goes, I'm gonna normalize the loudness level for all the mics, but I'm not gonna do anything else to it. So you'll be hearing with the audio from that mic sounds like. Let's get into it. You're now hearing the iRig. This mic is made by iCam Media and it runs for about 50 bucks. It comes with a lav mic, five foot cable, windscreen, mic clip, a field case. At the end, you'll find a TRRS connection. This mic is designed to plug into cell phones, iOS or Android. Works on tablets and other smart devices as well. The big thing with this mic, you can plug another lav mic into it, enabling you to record two lav mics at the same time on your cell phone or sound recorder. I would never use this feature for filmmaking because you're gonna have two separate signals baked into one track. You can't separate the signals in post, so you're gonna lose options in the edit, but some of you might find that useful. Now you can use this mic for a sound recorder or a camera, but you're gonna need an adapter. I use one by Rode called the SC3, runs about 15 bucks. Plug it into this adapter, plug this adapter into your sound recorder or camera and your GTG. If you flip a switch, you can plug a set of headphones into the same port and monitor your audio live. This comes in handy if your camera doesn't have a headphone jack. Don't get too excited though. If you're using a cell phone or a recorder, this only works in audio recording apps that allow for it. If you're recording straight into a camera, this only works for cameras that allow for it. Of all the mics that we're talking about today, I've used this one the most only because I've had it the longest. I've recorded with my cell phone a few times. I typically use this with an H1 zoom recorder. You're now hearing the audio from the Boya. The Boya currently runs for about 20 bucks. In the Boya, you get a lav mic complete with a 20 foot cable, an LR44 battery for the mic, a mic clothing clip, pop filter, a 3.5 to 6.3 millimeter adapter, and a carrying pouch. It has an inline switch. One setting is for sound recorders and cameras. The other setting is for cell phones and smart devices. This mic works on anything that takes a 3.5 millimeter connection. Build quality. The cable's made of standard rubber. The capsule is plastic. It's not really built to last, but again, it's 20 bucks. I've used this mic a few times. Um, really mixed feelings about the obnoxiously long cable. If you're plugging this directly into camera and then walking 10 feet away to record yourself in like a vlog or some type of demonstration, then it's awesome. But outside of that, it's just, it's annoying. Cable management is also an issue. It always gets tangled up no matter how well I wrap it. The last few times I used it, I spent five minutes detangling the cable. How in the world does this happen? You store it away and then it gets all tangled because you just got so much cord. If you're doing run and gun filmmaking, just be aware that you're gonna have to find a way to manage the cable or else you'll end up detangling it for five minutes. <laughs> Now you're hearing the x -Picks. I got this mic as part of a bundle with an H1 Zoom purchase. I figured I'd just throw this in in case any of you see this in a bundle while you're out there shopping and you wonder if it's any good. I don't think you can buy this mic by itself. In the kit you get a lav mic complete with a 20 foot cable, an LR44 battery for the mic, a mic clothing clip, pop filter, a 3.5 to 6.3 adapter, and a carrying case. It also works on smartphones and sound recorders just like the Boya. You do not need an adapter for this to work. Here's the deal, I think the Boya and the x -Picks lav mic mics are made by the same manufacturer like they are identical all the way down to the accessories this isn't a bad thing if you see this mic in a bundle you're pretty much getting a boya sponsor this video is sponsored by squarespace you can start your free squarespace trial today by going over to squarespace.com forward slash d for darius if you want to build a website for yourself or your project you want to keep the process as simple and painless as possible given that you've got like 40 other things to do. Squarespace isn't all in one platform, so you don't have to deal with any plugins, updates, or patches. They also have 24 seven customer support 365 days out of the year. You can use the coupon code D for Darius to get 10% off of your first purchase. I am still building a website for the short film that I am currently working on titled Not Cool. I've changed templates twice so far, but I think I've found what I'm gonna stick with. I've been working on it 20 minutes here and there whenever I could find the time. So yeah, it's gonna kinda take a little while, but we're getting there. Again, you can start your free trial today at squarespace.com forward slash D for Darius. And if you use the D for Darius coupon code, you will get 10% off of your first purchase. <laughs> you <laughs> 
You are now hearing the Purple Panda. This mic comes highly reviewed on Amazon, lots of people using this little guy. Currently runs for about 25 bucks. In the kit, you get an omnidirectional mic with a four foot cable. The mic works with cell phones, both iOS and Android. You get an alligator clip, foam windscreen, a 9.8 foot extension cord, a really big windsock, a TRRS to TRS adapter for sound recorders, laptops, and camera connections, a mini USB adapter for GoPros, although I think it only works up to the Hero 3 Plus, and of course, the cute little purple panda carry pouch. This mic comes with a lot of accessories and it's powered by whatever recording device you're using so you don't have to worry about swapping or changing batteries. The mic cabling is only five foot long so you're not gonna get stuck hiding extra cable. But if you do need that extra cable for selfie vlogging or interviews, you've got that extension. The capsule is smaller than the boy on the x -Pix, which makes it easier to hide. It's also made of more durable material just like the iRig. I've dropped this mic twice, it still works. If you have any issues, I hear their customer service is on point but I wouldn't know because I haven't had any issues. You are now listening to the Aperture ALOV. I've seen quite a few peeps out there using these. In the kit, you get an omnidirectional mic with a 10 foot cable, decent build quality. The cable is Kevlar reinforced, comes with a rubber cable winder. We've got a power module with a built in 200 milliamp battery, said to last 200 hours. I've never had to recharge this thing yet. So there's that. It's made of metal, very solid. It turns on and off automatically depending on if there's a mic connected to it, very nifty. We've got an alligator clip, foam windscreen, a furry windsock, a charging micro USB adapter for the battery, and it has a TRS adapter for everything else. Cameras, laptops, sound recorders, etc. You can also plug headphones in to monitor audio. And it comes with a hard shell field case. Just like with the iRig, the live headphone monitoring feature only works with recording applications that allow for it. For example, I had this mic plugged into an H1 Zoom and I tried using the headphone port on the power capsule, didn't work. I don't need it, but that's an example. The kit also has gaff tape for securing the mic to talent underneath clothing, etc. This kit was clearly made with filmmakers in mind. I like the built-in cable winder, that's pretty sick. Managing long cable can definitely be a pain. This is a very nice feature. The mic has its own power source, so your recording devices last a lot longer because they don't have to power the mic. I would not recommend using this mic without the power module, however, because you're gonna get a lot of noise in the signal. I really like the case this comes with. I can get to everything I need really quickly. A quick zip and I can see all the contents. It's a small thing, but it really does make a big difference. The other kits, you gotta dump the pouch out. It's just not as ergonomic. Built-in power is nice, but it's also one more thing you've gotta hide on your talent. So now you've gotta hide a 10 foot cable and you've gotta hide a power module. The power module does have a belt clip, but I don't really see that getting much use. The battery lasts a long time, like a really long time, but it's also one thing you need to check because you wouldn't want it running out on you on an interview or on set. All that said, you do get a lot of bang for your buck with this kit. I dig it. Honestly, all of these lav mics provide acceptable audio quality. If you nitpick, of course, you're gonna find slight differences. But at the end of the day, you just gotta pick the one that you think sounds the best. Links to all these mics are down below. And also, if you have like any of these mics, feel free to share your experiences in the comment section. I'm sure others will find it useful. I do believe that's all that I got for you. Thank you for watching. Debrit out. <laughs> <laughs>